Hello and welcome to the Matrix Gold 10 minutes video series. Today in this video what we will be creating is a hoop earrings collection. So in 10 minutes we will see how many uh, different styles or different shapes we can create. Hoop earrings. Okay, so I will try to do different diameters and different profile shapes and different settings also. So let's see how many we can get just in 10 minutes. So let me put the timer on. There we go. And let's start with a circle. I will click on F4 to start from the center, shift key, and I will go to these 20 millimeters inside the diameter. What I will do now is I will click on the grid snaps and I will create just a rectangle from here to here. And now with the trim, this is a circumference, so I don't need to keep it parametric. We something good about Matrix Hall is that it is parametric, but you can use also tools that are not parametric. So we have the trim tool. All right, so I select everything, trim tool, and I just trim this curve, and I get rid of this one now. All right, so now here what I will do is just add a profile. So from the profiles, I will go to perspective and I will just rotate 90 degrees this profile. I will use, on this one, I will use the square. And I want, I want to place here 1.5 stones. So probably, no, 1.7 stones. I will leave it at two millimeters. So I can go two millimeters width. So these ones will be quite tiny. And I will add another one here. Again, 90 degrees. Okay, we are good to go. Now I will go for the surface, sweep one between this, this, and this. All right, so we already have the shape, okay? Now what I will do is just get from here an ISO curve. All right, so to place it at the middle, I just need to click on 0.5. And now I will use this curve to place a stone. So I will go to gems, gems on curve, and I will go from here to here. I will use the gems placement table because we want them inside the metal. The gem spacing method, I like to keep it fixed and point two. So we know for sure that we are going to have 0 0.2 between every stone. Okay, this will be the distance. I click enter. Now I will get the stones from here, gem, and I will use the transform and I will use, sorry, the cutters and I will use the channel cutter. Of course that I can save this as a style, but now I will do just something like this. Then again, I will select the gem cutter. Cool, I can choose to go a bit farther. Okay, and now again, I will select the stones and I will create the micro prong cutters. Okay, so this is okay. I will just go a bit like this, ready to go. So now the only thing that I need to do is go to solid, volume difference between this and this. I click enter. Now, as you can see, because the um, mouse cursor is uh, spinning, it means that it's doing all the operations. So it's always a good uh, habit to just place the cursor here so you can see what's going on. So I click enter. And there we go. So we have already one earring. OK. So we can save this one. So we have the first one, of course, that here we have also, now we have been doing this with just four minutes. Um, you can go to the displays to see how it looks like in collections. We have the uh, collections, we have the, let me see where we have it in findings. So we have this post import. Always keep in mind to click import no open because then you will be just removing or deleting this what we have done until now. 
So this is just to keep it as a presentation, okay? So now I imported the post. I can just rotate it to place it in the right spot to be sure that this is the one, the look that I want. Okay, it looks good to me. So now we have the first one, I can save it. So there we go. So this works with the internal diameter of 20 millimeters. Now I want another one with 15 millimeters. All right, so the only thing that I need to do is just come here, I get the curve and using this uh, scale with the shift key press, so 15 millimeters, actually what I can do is just, this is 10, so it needs to go around middle of this, uh, this uh, square, that each square is one millimeter. So actually I can go and click on the grid snaps and just be sure that I am at the 0 0.5 because then what I can do is just select the curve. Okay, and I get this. So this will be 10 millimeters and I want to go to 15. All right, so this is 12 and a half, 12 and a half, no. This is uh, 12 and a half, yes, that will be. Okay, so I now I just drop it. The, and now as you can see, now it's thinking. And what it's doing is just recalculating everything. Okay, so now the only thing that I need to do is just get this here. And I can save another one. So now I have the 15 millimeters. And now I want one on 25 millimeters. Let's do it. So again, I will select the curve. And I will scale it. This will be 20, 24, 25. So this will be the 25 I hope you ring 25 millimeters. This we're always talking about the internal uh, diameter. There we go. I will get this and I will add the post here. And I will do the full save. So we already have three hoop earrings. And we are now at seven minutes. Let's gonna try to change. The profile so now because this one is pretty big and i wanted to and i want it to have to be some to have more strength i will go to edit the profile placer and instead two by two i will go to 2.5 by 2.5 so now again it's doing all the operations all the Boleans and everything. I will do the same on the other one. On this one. And now even even the timer looks that it's just in pause. Uh, is uh, because we are doing all the operations in the background. So everything looks like in post, but you will see that once the timer starts to run again, we, you see, now we are at 8.1920. So now I will also select this other one, this other profile here. So now here what's going on is that every time that we select a new profile or we select uh, a new setting, as you can see now here that I'm pointing into the Provide Placer tool. So every time that we change any parameter, what Matrix Hall starts to do is just in the background to again do all the steps that we have done, all the steps that you can see here, where I'm now with uh, in the, all the all the parametric tree. So what we do is just recalculate all the operations. So sometimes uh, it looks like it's doing nothing, but in the background, as I said. Is doing all the operations. So now I want 2.5 by 2.5. So once this is stop spinning, I will add 2.5 like this. Perfect. And now again, it's spinning because we need to wait to all the operations uh, take action. 
so let's wait and there we go so now we already got it bigger and before we reach the 10 minutes let's see if we can get the gems on curve and make the gems a bit bigger so i will go to two millimeters so we are 958 now because the software is doing all the operations we probably will go a bit farther from the 10 minutes but again we have another full save okay so we have another one that is thicker all right so let me stop it here 10 minutes and a half and we have done uh one two three four hoopy rings that actually we can uh use at any time to make any change so once we have all this saved in our collections so again i can go to the collections and save them in the collections i can go to collections and i can do the, the new one hoop earrings and now that i have the hoop earrings i just need to go here and just save it zero one i can i don't know i can just put the dimension profile dimensions 2.5 by 2.5 mm all right so now we have this we have all the information so when we selected or moves over we have the weight we have the diamonds when it was done so we have all the information that we need okay here so it's good to have all of them because then making changes is very easy so just say that another day another customer wants the the one that we have done at the very beginning that was the 20 millimeters then you already have all of them you just need to open and from because you will have all the parametric tree here on your right side then you can make any modification that you want just say that uh, now while i'm waiting the 20 millimeters to open uh, just say that the customer says all right i like the 20 millimeters one but i would like to have a different shape so the only thing that we need to do is just go to the curve uh, edit and then what we can do is change the and just say that the customer would like to have this profile so now instead of having it squarish what we will have it is more round and it will be totally different all right so now as you can see it has changed probably we'll have to drop the stones a bit now it's going to this one that still is the square then i need just to click on this point to select this profile and change the the next profile so then we will have the sweep that will go from this half round profile to this other half uh, round profile keeping the same shape to both profiles all right so now again it's doing when it takes this a few seconds to recalculate this because now it's just doing all the different operations that we have here so it's doing all the uh, booleans and everything all right so now we have another one with another profile once you have this base it's very easy to change anything okay so again we would be able as we did before with the last one with the number four we will be able to make the change that we need here to make it uh, thicker if we want changing the stones so you have many many options when it's time to just make uh, edits from the models that you have created so i hope that this video uh, has been good for you uh, it's good to see how just playing with the original curve you can get uh, many different uh, models from 
uh, or iterations from the same model. So I hope you like it and thanks for watching.